Check it out, we got a cop coming. Mind your business, lady. Tell me if you see this car at night time. The speed enforcement right here. Yeah, they don't want this smoke. So they have some fairly decent looking vehicles here. Mark. All right, guys. This is a constant. Let's see if this is, this works. Do we got an unsecured vehicle? How many towns have I hit now where we have unsecured vehicles? We gotta go have a chat with these guys. Yeah. We yep. gotta go have a chat with these guys. Yep. How many of them have you done lately? It's been quite a bit. Right? Unsecured vehicles? I don't know. I, I've lost count. I lost count of vehicles that I, I open. You know, and I always make sure that these things are recorded because the first thing they want to say is, well, I had criminal intent. That one's locked. Yeah, that one's secured. That one's secured. Uh, so they see another one. Six, hey, 1601. 1601. You see anything that's uh, inside of there? There should be uh, any weapons? Mm, it's dark as hell. No, at least from the front end, it doesn't look like it has a shotgun. Yeah, it's got the section where the shotguns go, and, and there's nothing there. That's good. So, so at least the, there's still a lot of emergency equipment and correct. stuff here in the trunk. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm sure there's ammunition, all kinds of stuff in there. Yep, I agree. I agree. Wow, look at this hunk of junk. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say that? Uh, ill intent, they can go in there and rip off some of the equipment in there, including uh, the drive cam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, we have no ill intent. Once again, we're not here to uh, create problems. Or, uh, just, we're pretty much educating the public on are being spent and how a simple mishap like this can turn into a tragedy and here we are as taxpayers paying for that. Um, luckily there's no firearms in there um, so far that we can see. Um, he does have a shotgun rack. Oh, we got a black and white pulling up. Hey bud, hey. can I have a word with you for a minute? Yeah, hold on just a second. Let me oh. grab some stuff. All right. I think you're right.
You're like an officer. I asked the other guy if I could have a minute of his time. He said he'll be out here in a minute. Once again, this is patrol car. So guys, um, we, we really, I, I've made it a point to do the door opening in front of the officers so they can have that all moment it's not i don't do it with the intention of opening the vehicle jumping in or stealing anything or anything of that nature um i'm not a criminal that's not my intent i open it in front of them for that wow factor that all moment that oh my god don't do that i i, I do it for that reason and if I didn't do it, and they just, oh, you, no, no, no we'll, we'll lock it next time. It, they'll forget next time. I, I, I want that smack on my kid's hand. That smack that, oh my God, my, my parent just hit me. I shouldn't do that. I don't want to get hit again. I want that moment. So. I saw one of the officers go inside. Um, they weren't wanting to answer. Uh, called dispatch. Dispatch is like, okay, give me a second. Some big YouTube crowd just shared that video. Nice. I just got that bait on it. Um, so the, one of the officers drove up, walked inside. When he walked inside, I said, hey, man, See? can I have a moment of your time? He says, yeah, bud, let me put this down, and I'll be right back. So we'll give him a few minutes. Yeah, I'll, really I'm going to be cordial. It sounds like he was going to the restroom. You could tell, like he just flushed the toilet, he was washing his hands. I said, okay, just send him out whenever he gets a chance. There. Um, you know, no stress. We just, we, we don't want this, you know? What if someone, what if a criminal just comes and takes it? That's been my point this entire well, time. That's exactly you know, what I'm telling my viewers right now. Well, you know, what if this day and age, anything can go south, but at the end of the day, we, the people are ending up paying for other people's mistakes, mm -hmm. right? If they steal the squad car, they steal equipment. At the end of the day, well, guess what? We'll just yeah. head up the taxpayer. My taxpayers. first question is going to be, not, has, it's going to have nothing to do with this. It's going to be like, do y'all have any, like, uh, you know, uh, rules and regulations for your department that you have to secure your weapons? Yeah. Um, and they're going to be like, he's going to be like, yes. And I'll be like, okay, so is there rules and regulations you have to, uh, you know, uh, There was another officer that came in. Uh, he's in that. He was in that fusion, um, and he put he put his stuff down, or he grabbed his stuff and he walked inside. I didn't tell him anything because I talked to the first officer. I want to give them. I always try to give them benefit of the doubt. I always try to give them an opportunity to do right. What's that number on the side there? 1601. 1601. That'd be the unit number. License plates one. I took three. All right, that's good. Sounds like they're coming up. Hey, don't that's Ninja. The door. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna push the button again. I think for a shirt that gives us a big deal or not. You don't want any interaction with us. <laughs> you take a picture of me too? Yeah. Here you go. what I didn't check these up here oh, cool. they just pulled in so yeah, let me check these he has almost 15, so yeah, I guess they're just avoiding us. maybe a lot has to do with that shirt no cads open that's good doors locked that's good
Let me with y'all guys. Tell me how you guys feel about this whole in God we trust on the back of the uh, vehicle. I mean, they should be able to see we did an army crawl up to the police department. Yeah. We're not trying to be antagonistic, but right here in plain view. I mean, what do I got to do? Do I need to sit in the vehicle for them to come out? <laughs> I can pull a jack. I'm just the wrong color to be doing shit like that. And I'm in the wrong neighborhood at the, on top of that. Public property. It's a pretty gray area. Yeah. Yep. Hold on. You said that car is 1602? Yeah. Yeah. No, 1601. 1601. All right. Okay. Yeah, they're inside the office. I can hear them. Laporte, the Laporte, Laporte Police Department. Uh, dispatch. And so the lady's like, I already relayed the message. And I'm like, damn, she cute. Well, I didn't say that. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Refused. Let me go in here with Ninja. He's the guy that says, uh, God's working behind the scenes for you. <laughs> but he's working up front for me. What well, you don't like. Been in there yet? Nope. A little house in the prairie. Where's the complaint forms? No complaint for me. There's nothing. I can't get no help. I just for a complaint for him. No. They're going to transfer they, they transferred it. You might just, I think they just ended your call. Yep. Um, they're just hanging up on it now. All it takes is five minutes to comply. Stop resisting. <laughs> Are we gonna do this the easy way or the hard way? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's. Let's see how long it takes them to come out when I open all four doors and to leave them open. Nice. All right, guys. This is gonna be the first time I attempt this. What are we? What are we gonna jail for? That's a good point. Uh, they, can, they can figure something out. Oh yeah, that's probably what they're doing. Right I don't now. have my second phone on me. Um, we'll bond you out, man. If it comes to that. No, I was gonna call them first. I was gonna try to get them on the phone with my actual phone. Okay. Uh, Give me a second. Fine, He's got three cameras going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can wait. We're over here dealing with a car. We've uh, reported it multiple times. They've uh, refused to come out at this point. Uh, they've left one of the police vehicles unsecure. We believe there could be weapons and ammunition in the vehicle. Or important documents. Uh, apparently, the court, or excuse me, four acres, police department. It looks like a house, but it's a police department. Uh, they don't take these kind of complaints seriously. So we're going to see what happens uh, if we open the doors of the car. Yeah, they got people's. Uh they got people's official documents right here with the case numbers and all their information right in the front seat. I can see it. Do they have personal documents? Yeah, I can see case number 210030 is uh, visible right there. Yeah, I see 
Hey, dispatch. Uh, do y'all cover the uh, Shaker, uh, Shore Acres Police Department as well? I don't have an emergency. I have an issue with, at their police department. Right now, they have a vehicle that is uh, that is open, is unlocked, and is unsecured. We have two two officers that walked inside the police department, and I tried to get their attention. And for 20 minutes now, they have uh, they have refused to come out of the police department to uh, help secure their vehicle. Is there any way that you can send an officer over here? It is unit 1601. Uh, and, and no, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. I, I'm actually going to stay here until the officer gets here because I, I want to make sure that no criminals would dare to uh, jump into an unsecured police vehicle and uh, steal anything out of there. So I'm going to be a good citizen and I'll wait for the officers to show up. I don't. I don't. Thank you. Did y'all get that on? Yeah. Okay. Somewhat. Oh, okay. All I heard was Charlie Brown talk. Womp, womp, womp. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> God damn it. He's coming or what? They seem like they're being they're being responsive. I told them we're not here to talk shit or bother them. You know, we just want the car locked and we'll leave. Once I know this car is safe, I'm able to go home. Heck yeah. Hold on, hold on. I got to do the off factor, dude. <laughs> I got to admit, man, you're the first cop that I've done that in front of and that has laughed. Yeah. Everyone has gotten pissed. Dude, dude. And it's like... <laughs> I, I want them to understand that's the wow factor. Yeah. You gotta have your vehicle secured. That sometimes they have uh, they have firearms in them. I, I, we want to know though, sir. Um, do you have any information? Because opening the vehicle, if we were to get in, open the vehicle and sit in it, it's not breaking in and entering because we didn't break anything, and it's not trespassing because it's public well, property. I, I, I'd rather you not do. That. I know. But <laughs> is, there, is there a charge that we could be charged with though? Because we're gonna look up all the rules anyway. I mean, what I, you know, all I can say is there's all kind of things that can be done. Uh, I mean, I don't. I if there was an unsecured weapon in the vehicle and we were to get in, they could consider us a threat and shoot us or something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't leave. I, I never leave a weapon in here. For sure. Yeah. And that's what we, that's the most important part. The first thing I checked was to make sure there was no unsecured weapon. No, so. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, no your problem. professional. Have a good day. Can I get your name and badge number real quick? Richardson 908. Thank Richardson 908, I appreciate it. Thank you for being cordial, sir. You have a good day. And that's all we wanted. That's all we wanted. Problem solved, ladies and gentlemen. Unsecured vehicles off the trail. You should have seen their faces when I told them that it was an actual unit. He goes, oh, yeah, that black one down there? I go, no, your actual unit, 1601. <laughs> he goes, they looked at each other in awe. <laughs> he drove off in it, too. He's gonna go get those unsecured documents secured. And uh, job well done. Oh, good job, fellas. Yeah,